Hi and welcome to this basic PHP tutorial on the echo language construct. Now probably the first thing you'll learn in PHP is obviously how to output data to the browser. This is probably, well, fundamentally the most important thing because at the end of the day once you've created your applications as you learn PHP and as you advance more you're always going to want to output something to the browser uh, or 90% of the time anyway. So this thing called echo is a language construct, it's not a function um, and it basically allows you to output data to the uh, user's browser. So we obviously start with our PHP tags which we start with um, a less than sign, a question mark, then PHP and then we end with a question mark and a greater than sign and in the middle of these tags what we want to write is the echo keyword and then we can either use double quotation marks or single quotation marks depending on what we want to put inside them and how f how fast or how picky we want to be about our script running quickly now with the double quotation marks these are the easiest to probably use because we can put variables inside uh, later on when you learn about variables I'm sure if you've programmed before you'll know what variables are these can easily be just put straight into the middle of these tags when we use single quotation marks we have to concatenate variables on using the uh, using a full stop so for now I'm going to be showing you how to use um, the single quotation marks because we're going to be putting some more single quotation marks inside um, as apostrophes uh, and this is going to, um, then I'm going to show you how we can escape these characters in order to display them. Uh, if you don't understand what I mean then all will be revealed in a moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type hello world and this is a classic uh, programmer's example of outputting any data. So I'm outputting a string data. Um, this is basically just text. Uh, we can output uh, numbers, uh, variables with echo, but in this example I'm just going to be showing you how to output string. So we're using our single quotation marks, we've got hello world inside. Uh, let's pop up to our browser. I've saved this in this directory here uh, under localhost. So when I press enter, hopefully there we go, we have hello world displayed to the screen. Now if I come back and change something, um, now bear in mind you can actually obviously because we're outputting um, to an HTML page essentially to a browser HTML is going to be interpreted even though we're using .php so I'm going to put a line break in and I'm going to say um, it's a lovely day now you'll notice that my uh, text editor has made this text here black while the rest of it's brown and the reason for this is I've used another single quotation mark here for the apostrophe in it as in it is um, so I'm shortening this but what's, what PHP is picking up here is oh we're ending uh, our echo output here when in actual fact we're not we're ending it here so what we need to do is we need to just simply put a backslash in there and what that's going to do is escape this character and by this I mean it's going to ignore the fact that it might be part of the PHP application itself and it takes it just as the code, uh, as um, our output. So let's just take away that for now and I'm going to come into uh, here and refresh. You can see we've got a, a pass error. So we're expecting a, a comma or a semicolon on line two. So if we go over to line two, which is obviously this middle line here, it's expecting a semicolon here as we have at the end of our program because we end each um, commanded line with a semicolon. So if we do include this we see that the text editors turned our uh, text brown and you'll find that by refreshing everything is outputted correctly. So remember you can use um, HTML inside your um, output for your echo. Now we also have a command called print um, this is another language construct, so it does exactly the same thing. So let's just refresh and see if anything's changed. No, nothing's changed. Now, the reason um, programmers tend to use echo is for a few reasons. Now, echo tends to be the quicker um, executing command. It seems to uh, produce the faster results within a program, especially if you're using or if you're echoing out a lot of text. Um, print, however, is the slower option in, in tests that have been conducted. Um, however, this is completely up to programmer's choice. Some people disagree, some people agree. Um, print does exactly the same thing, 
Um, another reason to use echo is in fact it is shorter so it's easier just to quickly write echo rather than print but it basically is up to personal preference so echo print whatever you decide to use they'll both echo out um, uh, data to the uh, browser uh, in exactly the same way and that concludes the echo tutorial